Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another video. This is another trade view tutorial and in this one I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build your own custom technical indicators. And to do this, we're going to be repeating the Bollinger Band Bounce indicator that we created in TC2000. And just to show how this indicator works, it is activated um, when the open of a bar is within the lower 30% of the Bollinger Band range. And when I like to use this is when the volatility really decreases along with the volume and then there is one of these indicators which is signified by this blue arrow. And if volume comes in like this, it's a good sign that the stock is ready to move up and it can do so very quickly as with INS which after this point increased 48% or so. So this is a really useful indicator to have in your technical analysis toolbox. And if you don't want to build it along with me in this video, I will be providing the code, which will be in the link in the description. And before we get started, I just want to take a moment to thank you guys all for supporting me these last couple of videos. Um, I've been really enjoying myself building these tutorials for you guys, and I always like reading your comments. So if you have a video suggestion that you'd like me to do, leave it down below in the comment section. And also, I want to ask you guys today, uh, what are your favorite technical indicators to use while trading? Um, I may make a video about that in an upcoming week. So let me know down below and let's get on with the video. Yes, get over there. Yeah! So here is the actual code that we'll be building in this tutorial. It starts with the basic Bollinger Band code um, and then we add a simple if statement which is activated when it is in that lower 30% of the Bollinger Band range. And then we also use a plot shape command um, to then plot on the graph when it is activated. And if you guys are curious about the syntax of TradeView, I have a link in the description to an excellent site, the TradeView Wiki, which basically explains all the commands you can use um, and also provides example commands um, and graphics. It makes everything really convenient to find and really quickly you can get comfortable with this coding language um, and you can make your own trading indicators just like I'm showing you how to do in this video. To start this tutorial, we're going to be um, starting with the blank Bollinger Band um, code, which we have already. So we're going to X out of what I already created and let's add this to chart. So as you can see, this only plots the Bollinger Bands. So now what we have to do is determine where the open of the bar is with respect to that Bollinger Band range. So now to get the actual indicators that we want, we're going to say BBB equals IFF and now we're gonna have this be activated when the open of the bar is below 20% of the Bollinger Band range. So to do this we're gonna do another pair of parentheses and we're gonna say open minus lower which is the lower bound of the Bollinger Band and we're gonna say divided by parentheses upper minus lower times 100 is greater is less than 20 and we're going to add some parentheses around here and we're going to say comma equals open so if it's true it's going to assume the value of the open of that day and if not we're going to give it a zero now we're going to say plot shape BBB comma style equals shape dot label down. So this is starting to look what we want, but we're actually going to modify a few things. Let's make the bound condition actually be 30%. And to restrict it a little, we're going to add an if statement and say that the close must be greater than the close one bar ago. That's what this these brackets signify. This means the close one bar ago. So now if we add this to the chart and X out of this old one, let's see what we get. And there we go. This is pretty much what we're looking for. You can see um, that it appears right here, 30%. So to follow this indicator, what you really want to do ideally is to have the stock be in an overall uptrend and there be a slow decrease um, in the price of the stock 
while volume is decreasing and also volatility. Um, then if it starts moving up out of a Bollinger Band bounce, you know that the uptrend is likely to continue and the stock could rapidly increase in price just like here. And I think this technique is also really useful because you know where your stop should be. Um, if the stock breaks support right here um, and broke this Bollinger Band indicator, that would be a signal to sell the stock um, just like happened here. So really this decrease was too rapid and you should have waited um, until maybe entering here or here before the stock really started moving up. So that's it for this video guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and please, if you have any other ideas for trade view tutorials, um, just let me know. I plan on doing a couple videos on making alerts, um, the drawing tools that you can use, um, and just kind of exploring the other features of this program. But yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in future videos.